Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Mukesh's Tech Space, where you will find videos on AWS LightCell, WordPress tips and tricks. Um, I also do videos on other cloud services that you can use to easily set up websites and web applications. So if you are new here and are interested in that type of content, please consider subscribing. In this video, I want to show you how to set up automated snapshots in AWS LightCell. Uh, what are snapshots? Uh, they're basically backup copies of your entire server at any given point in time. Uh, why are they important? Uh, they're important because if anything were to happen to your server uh, that causes it to become unavailable, then you could use uh, a most recent version of your snapshot to bring your server back and restore your server back online. Uh, let's say, for example, you had to um, uh, you had to go through a bunch of operating system updates uh, and patches. Uh, and after that, you, um, your MySQL server decides not to come up. It can't come up or some error happens. Uh, well, if you have a website that relies on MySQL, if you have a website built on WordPress, it relies on MySQL database. Well, then it will be down, right? So you could use an, uh, an AWS snapshot or light cell snapshot from before the updates were made and restore your server and bring it back up quickly. So that's why they are important. And in this video, I wanted to show you how to configure and set it up. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is log into your AWS LightCell dashboard and then head on over to the snapshots tab. Now enabling this feature, uh, is free, but the storage of your snapshot, you have to pay for it. It's not free. Uh, and currently the cost is 0.05 cents per gigabyte per month. So if you have a snapshot of 50 gigabytes, um, of, you know, one server snapshot is 50 gigabytes, then you're roughly paying about two and a half dollars per month for that snapshot. And LightCell keeps the most seven recent uh, snapshots in a rolling pattern. So you might be thinking that that's 50 gigabytes times seven. So you're going to have to be paying for 350 gigs of storage per month. Uh, well, that's not the case. Uh, AWS uh, says that LightCell is smart enough to only keep the data that has changed between snapshots. So if your first snapshot was 50 gigabytes and then you added a gig of data, uh, then your next snapshot will be only one gigabyte. And so you're paying for 51 gigs now. And then if you only add another gig over the seven, you know, seven backups, seven rolling backups, uh, you might be just paying, uh, you know, paying for 57 gigs of total space. So that's still around two and a half dollars a month. Now that is um, uh, very inexp inexpensive for uh, the, the security and the amount of time it will save you if you ever have to restore your server from a backup or if you have to recreate your server. Um, you can just restore it from, from a snapshot. So here's how we quickly uh, enable, the, enable a snapshot. So sign into your LightCell console and arrive at the dashboard. Choose the instance um, that you want to enable your snapshot for. And then on the, snap, on the instance management page, click on snapshots. Then you'll see right here, automated, automatic snapshots. Now that should be disabled for you. So just click on the toggle there, click on I understand and hit yes enable. Now this should be uh, configured to take a daily snapshot and based on your region, there are different uh, times that are default for when the snapshots are taken. So for me, you'll see here, it, it says your daily snapshot time is 1 a.m. So for you, if you're in a different region, uh, that will be a different time. If you want to change that time, then you can just click on change snapshot time and then just select a different time. And that's it, folks. That's about it. Um, it's so simple and everyone should enable this. Uh, it doesn't cost that much, but in the long run, it will save you a lot of headaches. So a thing to note is that uh, when you, if you ever in the future disable your automatic snapshots, then any snapshots that were taken during that previous time will not be deleted. They will always remain until you manually delete those. Um, so you, just to keep in mind, if you do disable it, it does not delete all the snapshots that you already have. Um, the second thing is if you do re-enable re the snapshots, then 
um, it, the, the previous snapshots will start to get overwritten with the new snapshot schedule that will be uh, in place after you re-enable it. Um, so that's about it. Um, if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Um, like I said in the beginning, uh, please consider su subscribing to my channel if you're interested in this type of content. And, um, and if you have any other ideas or suggestions for future videos, comment down below. And until the next video, take care.